That was the voice of a very remarkable 12-year-old girl from Cork, Ireland, named Allie Sherlock. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hello, and thanks for joining us for the Midlife Traveler podcast. Today, we're going to share with you some of the music, the songs, and the voice of Allie Sherlock. Allie is a 12-year-old from Cork, Ireland, who only picked up the guitar three years ago. Now, Allie is just this petite powerhouse of a person with a bright smile on her face, I discovered Allie while walking down the streets of the city center of Cork, Ireland. I heard this melodic sound, this music, and I saw a crowd up ahead. And and, and I walked up and kind of peeked in between to see what was going on and see who was singing. And there was this young woman, this girl, that was just herself, a guitar, a microphone, and an open guitar case with CDs inside that she was selling. And she was belting out that music. It was powerful. It was inspirational. And kids in the crowd were, you know, were putting money in her guitar case and women were walking up and she was just putting herself out there. And she was happy and smiling and singing and just sharing her talent with the world. And it was so cool. I, I pulled out my my iPhone to record to just sort of take some video of the area. And that's actually what you're going to hear next is I pulled the audio out of that iPhone video. And so the first time you hear Allie's voice on this, it's her singing. It's maybe a three minute song. And I hope you just listen all the way through and remind yourself as you're hearing her, she's 12 years old. And afterwards, I was really honored to go up um, and I met Allie's father and during a break, I talked to her. And so you're going to hear a little recorded interview with how she got started. And, you know, believe it or not, she she just picked up the guitar only three years ago. And anyways, I'm not going to tell you more about the interview. You can figure it out from here. But there is one cool thing that I didn't really realize at the time. But I Googled her later because I picked up her CD. I purchased one of her CDs called Can't Let Go, and it has a bunch of songs on it. And so I looked at the CD and Googled her name while I was standing there listening. And one of the first articles that came up was how this 12-year-old girl from Cork refused to fly to New York to be on the Ellen DeGeneres show. So I saw that, and I asked her dad about it. He had a really great answer. He said, you know what? She does this because she loves this. She still wants to be a kid. She's not seeking fame and fortune. We don't need to be on the TV. We don't need to fly to the U.S. You know, she has her friends and her weekends, and we're going to let a kid be a kid. So that was a really cool perspective. So with that, please enjoy this song and this music of Ali Sherlock.
feel like my life is flashing by. All I can do is watch and cry. I So now you've heard 12-year-old Allie Sherlock from Cork, Ireland sing. And I'll tell you what, you just got to listen to the audio, but when you see her perform live, standing there with her guitar and her pink guitar strap and her guitar case open, it's just just really powerful. So I hope if you have time, you'll go to Google Allie Sherlock. She has a lot of recorded YouTube videos and also Facebook videos. And of course, we'll have links on the Midlife Traveler website so you can find them quite easily. Now on to the interview where we had the rare opportunity to speak with Allie and her dad during a break from her songs. And here's what they had to say. So I'm Mark Sherlock, I'm Ali Sherlock's dad and Ali is a busker, she plays on the street and uh, does some weddings as well. She's been uh, singing and playing guitar three years and she's 12 years old. What? Only you've only been playing for three three years? Yeah. A year on the street. Yeah, so and I've been playing guitar a little more than uh, singing. Um, when I first got guitar lessons, I wasn't really allowed to sing with this because my dad wanted me to play guitar. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, now I, now I realise my mistakes. <laughs> but around like six months later, maybe yeah. a little less than that, I um, started we, singing with it then. We came up with a deal that you kind of done half and half. Yeah. <laughs> so why did you, dis- how did you get your first guitar? Well, I started getting lessons and then I brought her along with me. And uh, the two of us just started learning together, but the singing, she just done that herself. Uh, her guitar teacher you would give her chords to learn. She would look up the chords uh, and find a song with similar chords and started singing from there. Yeah. So it just felt natural. It's yeah. like you saw it, you knew you knew what to do. I just one day, like I didn't really want to do it before, but just one day I just wanted to start, can I start singing with it? And he was like, no, 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 I want you to play guitar. Because I was playing for guitar <laughs> <Yeah>. lessons. <laughs> Um, but then after a while I was allowed with it, so... Yeah, yeah. So it just didn't stop then, then it was her idea to come in town busking, so... Yeah. Just went a bit, uh, she got fairly popular nearly instantly, actually, so... So, yeah, she enjoys it and it's good for her. And, uh, 
Yeah, we'll see where it brings her. She does some weddings now as well. Yeah. And um, So if someone wants to find your music online, where do we find your music online? Um, well, you can find it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. Not so much on Twitter. Not, there's no, everything's yeah. on YouTube and Facebook. Mo- yeah. yeah. You know she has like 8 million views on YouTube. YouTube. Um, and just re- just made a uh, hundred thousand subscribers yesterday actually. Nice. <laughs> so you're not selling your music, you're just sharing your music. Uh, because you're right now, I mean, but... Uh, but not online, cause, just because I don't know how to do it really. Okay. So, uh, so limited uh, time, you can get her music for free. Uh, well, we're off to London now in a couple of weeks. Uh, Universal have been on tour, so... Uh, we'll see where that goes. They want to put it into a recording studio for the day, so they're flying us over for the day. <laughs> oh, are you excited? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> really excited. So how does that work when you do that? Do you know, you go with a couple know. sets of songs, yeah. you just... Yeah. They're, go- they're going to bring in a guitarist, actually, so to see what she's like without the guitar. And, and yeah. uh, just to, I suppose, see... They're, obviously, they're looking to see will they invest in her. That's what it is like. Everyone's in it for business, so... Uh, we'll see, and if we like it, we'll see what they if they offer something fair enough. We'll, if we like it, we might do something. We'll see. Okay. But we're not stuck for money, so I do well myself. So if it's something we like, we'll do it. Well, I can see it in her face, and you can hear it in her smile. I mean, she she loves this. Yeah. Like you said, it was her idea. It was yeah. her idea. She exactly. loves this. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That piece of music with other yeah. people in your own people special way. People see even on YouTube the comments on YouTube. They say if they're, if they're feeling down and they listen to it, they seem to perk up. So is there a certain style? What do you like now? At the moment, I like, in artist, I love, love Ed Sheeran. And I'm going to his concert next year. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Sia, Adele. The type of music would be kind of pop and ballads. Yeah. Pretty, like yeah. love song ballads. Country pop, you country like a bit pop. of that. I have a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, country pop. Yeah, you're kind of like a ballad yeah. singer, really, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, she seems to move people. I see women crying in the crowds. Many times. So, I noticed, I was just watching, actually, I was videoing from the side and then I was watching, and it's women that are coming up. And, yeah. and it's small kids. It's yeah. I think out of everyone yeah. who came up, there was like one guy. Men don't have the confidence to walk. You know, that's why they stand so far back. I've noticed over the last few years, she's been busking a year, that they just stay way back. They're like so wary to walk up because they're in the in the center of attention then, you see. So they're, and women must have more confidence than men. So they seem to, to but the men can be generous. I don't know if you're talking just about busking in general. Yeah. I would say it's the magnetic pull of Wow, okay. that girl is Probably. impressive. I yeah. want to help. There's an unspoken yeah. sort of like right. female code that you help other women out. Yeah. yeah. And supporting that person. Like you're walking they look, out. They look for the eye as well. I see that. That they're looking to catch her eye. Um, whether, I don't know what to, whether just to be noticed or just like, I don't know what to recognize. I don't know, but I look, I see them watching like that. And of course, Ali most of the time is away with his Are you saying there. women or just everyone? Um, women especially. Yeah, yeah. That I think it's yeah, it's that because yeah. you're. Because I see it all from there, standing beside her. It's like, like wow, so. she's yeah. she's good. What's going on there? We and the thing like is, to... women hit the emotions of a woman as well. A man isn't as emotional as a woman. So I, I and her songs are quite emotional. You know, I almost was gonna like puff up and do a women's lip thing, but you're actually you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> what do you mean we're more emotional? <laughs> No. She stomps her feet yeah. and says, and it's good. Right. No, I, I, it is. I wish men could go. So, how often are you around here? Even though we live here, Dublin oh. is better for bus. Okay, Much gotcha. Better. Yeah, we wouldn't be. Do you have to get a license or a permit or in anything? In Dublin, yes, not in Cork. Yeah, so we have all that. We have everything we need for Dublin. Okay. Um, but it's just that uh, she loves the crowd, and Dublin is kicking all the time yeah. so. well she's got the skill to bring it so yeah. Yeah. it's really really great to meet you thank you so so much for your time so wasn't that remarkable if you're interested in learning more about Allie Sherlock please google her online to try to find her music you'll read the articles about how she turned down the Ellen DeGeneres show but even beyond that you'll be able to find her on social media so you can listen to her music Or if you'd like, just go to our website at amidlifetraveler.com and we will not only have show notes from this episode, but also links to all of Allie's social media contacts so you can find her online. The original video of 
Allie singing that you heard earlier in just the song. It's a bit more impactful, I think, when you actually get to see and experience the moment, the people walking by, her playing. I I feel it's really powerful. Anyways, thanks for listening to this story, and happy travels wherever you may roam. Hey, let's go see the world.